Babs Clark was just 11 years old when she was caught up in that crush at Bethnal Green and she was telling me more about her memories of that day when I spoke to her a short time ago. We got down to the tube, there was the usual queue of people, it was a horrible night, raining, cold, and you've got to remember it was pitch black because we had the uh, blackout on and we were all quietly queuing up and moving along and suddenly there was this horrendous noise, I can still hear it, it was like hundreds of rockets going up into the air. And as they went up, they whistled like the um, bombs used to as they came down. And what it was, unbeknown to us, it was a new uh, rocket gun they were trying out in Victoria Park, which they hadn't told anybody about. Well, it was that terrible noise that started the panic, you've got to say, people pushing. And we got virtually to the top of the steps, and you've got to remember it was very, very dark. You only had a tiny little light on, no handrails or anything, and the steps were very wet. And I can remember falling over something. I, I don't know what it was, but I fell over something. And my sister, very kindly, because let's face it, she was 16, I was 11, and we didn't like each other very much. But she pulled me up, and we then got pulled out by an air raid warden, I assume, and we were sent over to another shelter at the Salmon and Ball under the railway arch. When we got there, there was a lot of people there that we knew, and my sister was going round asking if we'd, anybody had seen our mum because we'd lost her in the crush. And suddenly somebody said to her, go and look in that room, she might be in there, but unfortunately it was all dead bodies she had to go and look at. So you were obviously very lucky to survive, but did you realise immediately quite how great was the loss of life? Well, no. No, I don't think anybody did, not until the next day. Um, luckily, our mum survived. She'd been pulled out and was taken over to the church where we're holding the memorial service today. And, of course, uh, they, they kept it quiet what had happened that day for a long time, didn't they? Well, it was kept quiet the whole... during the war. Um, Herbert Morrison, who was the Home Secretary at the time, he kept it very quiet. And also Winston Churchill, he wanted it kept quiet because of the morale of the British people. The fact that this had happened um, on a civilian scale and not a, an Axis scale. And what do you make of the fact that this memorial is finally being unveiled today? Well, I'm absolutely over the moon about it, although it's only two-thirds of it has been finished, which is being dedicated today. We've still got to raise another £117,000 to get the actual top of the memorial, which would be like an upside-down staircase. That's why it's called the Stairway to Heaven. Well, that was Babs Clark talking to me a little earlier about her memories of that night back during the Second World War.